Currently there is two types of pumps on the map. There is the very large oil rigs and then I have a generic pump that I have created and we're gonna put that right here. And this will produce crude oil for you at a very low pace, but there's also some different settings that we can take a look at there. So let's go take a look at that really quick. We're just gonna drive our cool truck over there. We may need to use it here soon. Super loud right here. I'm not a fan of how loud it is. I'll have to fix that the next update. So I've already played around on this, and I can tell you that the crude oil solo, not worth it price to produce. Next update, that will be fixed, or at least edited to where it is kind of profitable for newbies, because it was kind of hard to get for me to get started into the crude. Right off the bat, when I started the map, I'd have to do other things first and then do crude. Uh, but first we have the crude oil solo. I don't recommend it. Crude oil low staff. This is where you bring uh, lettuce, clothes, strawberries, and some eggs, and you'll produce some crude oil there. Medium staff. It swaps out the lettuce for tools, which we will cover in a later video on how to create tools. Then high staff swaps out another it swaps out the the, the the eggs no I don't know what it swaps out ah, swaps out the clothes so no longer need clothes you need parts and some grease and you'll be able to produce 1200 crude and then here we're gonna start looking at engine automation where the engines are running it I think that's worth it I'll have to do some math and play around with it but a lot of this will need nerfing or boosting one or the other it needs played uh, but the idea is there and then we have natural automation which you can use methane or robotic automation which you can use energy and these the methane and the energy are pallets on the map that can be produced at the at a bga placeable that i created and then you can bring them here to produce crude oil okay so let's start producing and get away from the sound Get away from the sound, it's so loud. Need to fix that, I'm sorry. For like at least two weeks, you're gonna have to deal with that. Um, but let's pump some stuff into it, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna get some diesel, put it in there, and show you what that looks like. All right, so I have it full, well not full all the way, but we got a good chunk to actually get it going here. So I told you that the solo production sucks, don't do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it at least at least wait to get into crude oil until you can afford to do these things right here so let's do robotic automation and I do believe I'm gonna boost some of these in the future we're actually gonna see how well it produces we're gonna do robotic automation and then it should start producing crude oil and using some of our power here and looks like we've made our first pallet over here it's super loud so i'm not going to walk around it right now but i will speed up time really fast to show you that it does work it does produce look another pallet and then if we go into the menu in here you can see that we're starting to run low on some electric charge but we are pumping out pallets here that is nice nice so next what do we do with the crude oil and that's simple if you go under replaceables factory you'll see crude refinery refinery medium and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that right here and now we will take our oil over there and go check it out all right so right now I have an auto load trailer and I'm gonna drive by the really loud factory so plug your ears but I'm gonna show you that it does auto load my pallets. For some reason, it doesn't do the in game ones for me anymore after the last patch, but my pallets work, so I guess better than nothing. All right, start loading this bad boy on. Oh, gotta back up a wee bit. All right, got him loaded up. Whoa, it's heavy. A lot of weight here, and then we'll drive this to our crude oil refinery. Right over here. And as soon as you drive into this area, they should start going in. Whoa. 
And if it doesn't, lower the deck a little bit, get it inside the kill zone. All right, we got some freaking oil. That's so sweet. Hopefully time gets brighter because, man, did it get dark? I forgot to turn the <laughs> the light, the speed thingy off so it didn't get dark on me. That's better. Got the sun coming up. Ah, what a beautiful day. All right, let's remember to turn this down and slow it down. Okay, so currently right now, Just load it into there. Go to our production point. Okay, so I've noticed some funky, some fun, some funkiness, right? When in order to to make crude oil from River Sand P, it has to be in here, but it's gonna spawn it out here. So what we're gonna try to do is see if we can get diesel being made and activate this and make sure it uses our fuel. Well, that might be an issue then. Oh yeah, I remember now. So instead of storing, you would put distributing. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna leave it inside of the mod or the, the factory, there we go. So we're just, I'm gonna dump, redump all these back into there really fast and we'll finish this up in a second. I've noticed with some of these factories, anything that produces quite a bit of stuff, you're gonna wanna do distributing um, just to keep it all from spawning. Because if not, you'll sit there and you will get every single pallet. But if you do want a pallet to spawn, such as, I don't have anything we can spawn right now. Give me a second. And what that's doing now is it's actually distributing diesel to the crude oil factory. You can see right here, we're burning up some diesel right now, or we're adding diesel to it. And if you want to stop that, you just click storing and it'll start producing the pallets right here. And it is completely dark outside, but we got our first thing of diesel. This is gold, liquid gold right here. And then uh, our, other, our other factories, here, any grease that was needed or anything like that that's where all this stuff was being sent all this extra stuff you can hit storing and then you just have to deal with the 504 pallets but I recommend doing them one at a time now to give you a quick example I have enough naphthia here to produce a pallet So naphthia is used in the process of plastics. We will cover plastics in a different video with the bigger refineries. And now that you've kind of learned everything about this, and this is still a work in progress with this many fill types, I don't think anybody's done this, so I didn't really have anything to go off of. So bear with me on that, but we will take a peek at the other facilities, such as the large crude refinery that is located right here. Another big boy. This one has a lot more options. It's also $4.3 million. So when you open this one up, you got diesel efficient, diesel, direct cell, naphthia, grease, plastic, sand oil extraction one, sand oil extraction two. So with that, you get more crude oil with river sand P. And then with sand, you get just barely any. Uh, anhydrous ammonia propane and hydrous ammonia efficient and what the efficient means is basically we're removing one of uh, in some cases we're removing a product and replacing it with like 
tools or parts in this case we are creating parts but you can see there it is almost double production on both spots there is one more additional refinery that is built into the map it is located here and you can offload using a boat at this trigger right here there's an offload section right there and then also you can fill up your boats right here with any liquids that are produced by the facility and then your sell point for the land is right here and then your pickup for the facility for any liquids that you don't want into a pallet would be right here and I would highly recommend uh, using a tanker to move stuff around that way you don't have to play with the distributing selling and storing method that I talked about earlier but when you come here you will have the option to do a couple other things so we'll buy it and we'll go manage production and produces anhydrous using methane and propane and plastics this is the cheaper option rather than spending the 4.2 million or 4.3 million to get the big one you can come here to this dock and get this one Next, we're gonna cover the oil rig and all of its glory. Actually, there's a couple oil rigs, but they're the same for right now. This is where you could pick up your liquids using a boat. And then also pallets will spawn right here. A lot of pallets will spawn right here. This has a big wide area. Uh, I also added room to be able to drive a forklift around here. Uh, when you're bringing items here to sell, such as lettuce and whatever, the trigger extends from right here in front of this door all the way out to here so you can just drive the boat up and it'll start selling it to the facility or adding it to production so we're gonna buy the production point really fast take a look at what it can do so the oil towers the oil rigs uh, kind of the same process as a refinery medium or sorry as the oil pumping factory but a little bit more so lettuce clothes strawberries eggs cruises crude at low staff medium staff it swaps out lettuce for tools and produces a little bit more same thing with high staff swaps out for tools and parts and grease and produces about double what medium staff does and then crude automation where it strictly uses tools parts grease and a little bit of fuel actually that's probably quite a bit of fuel compared to costs nowadays up top up here uh, there is a helicopter landing pad that you can deliver items as well. I need to do a code really fast so we can fly up there. And now that I can fly, we I'm like Superman. So we'll get up here, and as you can see, there is an unload section right here that you can fly a helicopter down and offload supplies. And there is another section over here where you can land a helicopter as well and offload supplies. And there is working collisions all up here oh, darn it there is some stuff on these models like that I haven't played it a lot so you don't see this until you load it up in game but that is how you offload oil and all that fun stuff we if you go not all of this is a collision because it'll lag out the game uh, so bear with me on that as we figure out what works and what doesn't that is oil on the map I do believe we will do a one last little look at all the placeables and make sure that I covered everything because there's a lot. Oh no. Okay, so the one thing I didn't cover was producing methane. But this video is more about crude oil for right now. And that's what we're going to be doing. Thanks for watching. Hit the like video. I will be making some other fill type videos, so please interact with the videos. Hit like, ask questions, tell me what you want to know. Uh, tell me what you're curious about on the map. The map is available for download on the Patreon page, public. Uh, we'll turn this alpha to a beta as soon as we possibly can, and then make it a done map eventually. Later, guys.